crypto is something that uh, you spoke about in the book and it's it's a hot topic of discussion right now and then more than the technology more than anything else it represents for me a uh, an area that's maybe forward looking um maybe you know 5 10 years down the line to truly understand the power of blockchain technology and if and if the country or if the people of this country want to actually explore that field and make something valuable out of it they need to be given regulations to play around with um and if those regulations don't happen we land up the same place where we've landed up in manufacturing in digital economy which is 5 7 years behind and now you're playing catch up right a great example of that is drones we banned drones in 2014 and now suddenly we've woken up in 2021 to talk about how everything needs to be around drones right um, a lot of innovation could have happened in the last 7 years if somebody sat down and figured out the right regulations and policy around drones the same thing on on crypto so while while the question is on crypto it is an overarching um, question is how do we look at these forward looking technologies and take the right decisions at the right time rather than being left behind again perfect so um, the uh, the crypto uh, what we know as crypto to my mind is um, simple technological innovation of the blockchain cryptography technology and that's as different from the common centralized database technology which we use el- everywhere in the uh, in the digital economy today uh, and its implications its potential for uh, sort of coming up with a far better more efficient solution and less government centric solution because the the centralized database technology is essentially based on the government being the controller whether it's land records whether it's bank accounts whether it is um, anything else these are all in the hands of some central controller and the central controller is nothing but the government whereas the um, the decentralized technology of the blockchain and the cryptography uh, is a very different world where uh, uh, you you might in think that in certain respects the government is uh, obliterated uh, so to say so um, and this technology is in the evolution phase what um 15 20 years we uh, were thinking about the uh, silicons and the semiconductors etc uh, today it is at that stage where it's or for that matter about 20 years or 25 years what we thought about the solar technologies and all as as power producer uh, because at that time neither there was scale neither there was uh, uh, so much of investment into bringing better and better uh, solar technologies so it was expensive right we there again did not uh, go into the evolution of technology or development of technology so like we missed the technological bus in uh, solar technology or for that matter silicon semiconductor technology if we don't emphasize if we don't catch up and this is also by the way same story if you go for 2g 3g 4g 5g 6g a uh, couple of years back when 5g was uh, evolving we thought that we will be ahead uh, uh, by doing uh, by taking certain policy view we did not do and 5g today we are not having in india whereas half the world has already moved to 5g i heard the statement again uh, uh, from a minister who said we will be leader in 6g now you can make these statements but these mean nothing right likewise if we don't handle the blockchain cryptography technology uh, you would miss this bus somebody will uh, sort of get all the technological advantages and then you would be left with either borrowing or buying or stealing or uh, uh, sort of requesting to use the uh, technology maybe indians would be good to build some services on that but that's uh, uh, not the core uh, core advantage so i am entirely in favor of again dealing with this technology um, uh, very well now there is a conflict there after uh, this technology disrupts lots of our accepted notions i would cite two of them number one uh, that the let us say in 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 the currency aspect 
that the uh, uh, the uh, the currency or the cryptocurrency is seen as a competitor to the central bank or the government sovereign currency right and we have taken a kind of first view that the uh, the currency is to be is to be stopped in its tracks right the second uh, uh, main big feature which is not recognized in my judgment is the is a very different nature of uh, this animal cryptocurrency and the blockchain uh, this 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 animal is where almost all the functional parts of the econ- economy whether it's currency whether it's goods and services that is the business whether it's asset equity other capital all gets merged and mashed into one single phenomenon called cryptocurrency of that so if you view ether ethereum today in which lots of applications can be made lots of services can be delivered lots of assets can be created right uh, that functions with its own currency of ether right uh and therefore uh, i i these days try to uh, sort of uh, compare the crypto currencies and there are 8000 10000 of them already trying to do different functions somebody is trying to uh, sort of store music and sale somebody is trying to get the nfts and create assets which are accessible somebody is trying to do land management somebody is trying to do de- decentralized finance and things like that so there are different crypto um, uh, worlds or crypto uh, systems which are trying to uh, deliver different good services in the um, and and the assets now uh, as i mentioned different nature so i these days compare the cryptos to the pre currency days the barter days where they were assets right uh, i would say let us just take a goat of the pre uh, uh, pre agriculture uh, pre currency days that goat was also providing service so you can milk it you can take meat that was also an asset and whenever it was traded it was also a currency so you trade two goats for one cow so cow also worked as currency and the goat also worked as currency right so today the cryptos are like the goats and the cows of the uh, pre currency period where everything is enmeshed into it you can't deal with this in the conventional framework where we are today that there is a company the company is separate from the shareholders the company can raise capital by raising equity here everything happens in 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 one go so it's a very different class of business different class of asset and therefore and it also works with a very different set of systems you don't have um, uh, anybody who you can call the owner the occupier or the shareholder of the of the crypto world um, right uh, uh, and uh, you 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 don't work in the traditional method of contracts and other things right so this organization is very different what uh, every one of us now know is decentralized autonomous organization it works on the computer networks there are humans are not there visible and identifiable with them so this is a very different kind of uh, world if we don't recognize this as that different world and make laws and policies to deal with um, uh, with that uh, for example in in terms of currency i would strongly uh, urge the uh, the government and the reserve bank to permit in use currency uh, in platform use of the cryptocurrencies not ban it if you ban ether uh, ethereum will collapse or will not work in india right uh, and therefore in platform use of the currency is something when you decide a policy about uh, the digital currency of your own uh, you have to recognize this we should frame laws and the policies to get a new law 400 years back when companies came into being uh, the the world did not know how to deal with with companies with limited liability right today when decentralized autonomous organizations are coming up which are computer networks without identifiable humans being around it you have to have a very different system to deal with it 
so i think unless we are able to and in certain ways what i am trying to say we can actually be the leader uh, in formulating policies and uh, 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 because this is the field which is growing today there are some uh, states in united states which are trying to uh, sort of bring uh, uh, or give legal uh, to to the smart contracts and daos and others but at at national levels hardly any uh, country if we can create a very conducive environment for um, the the decentralized organizations to set shop here uh, and the smart contracts to work the uh, the crypto uh, uh, businesses we will probably attract far more investment than what we see today every technocrat who is interested in uh, in this business talking of shifting to dubai or singapore or somewhere else rather than living in india and doing it uh we uh, we don't know how to deal with mining we don't know how to deal with these smart contracts we don't know so we are at this moment uh, in exactly the same state of confusion when the semiconductors and the chips were ki- coming and we didn't do- did not do unless we handle it rightly and carefully uh taking a long term view of 15 20 50 years we will perhaps miss this bus as well